my district is home to some of the top restaurants, the nightlife, some of the hole in the walls that I kind of kept quiet to a lot of people. But if you've been there in the West Loop, the Fullerton Market, you know that these are some of the best restaurants in the city of Chicago. And that is owed to the people who do the work. That is the workers. And all those restaurants wouldn't be possible without the workers who show up every day and put in their shift or double shift, which is something that I know personally as a nursing home worker. While we rely on those workers, a lot of them are getting the short end of the stick. When the industry shut down during the pandemic, 72% of restaurant workers found out they were not eligible for unemployment insurance because their wages were too low. That right. And that is not right. That right. Imagine not having any income after working your butt off every day and every night and have children at home or taking care of your loved one and you have nothing in return. We can't fight for a living wage and then tell 10% of the workers in Illinois that they do not qualify. That is what it is to pay sub-minimum wage in this state. That's right. And thanks to the city of Chicago, the mayor, and the city council, workers have a guarantee of a minimum wage with tips on top of it. And it's time for Springfield to bring the economic security to workers across the state of Illinois and to send a message that to do business in Illinois, you have to be able to pay your employees a living wage, period. Bottom line is once upon a time, I was part of the Fight for 15. Who remembers the Fight for 15? Woo! We got it done. Yes. So now we're going to get this done. Yes. Now we're going to get rid of sub-minimum wage. Yes. It is time that we do it. There's absolutely no reason why we should not. Right. City of Chicago did it. Illinois needs to do it. We have everybody ready to get on board. I want, I'm proud that uh, the part of Cistro, uh, Cistro that I represent is also leading the charge to make sure that we get this done for our Latinos, our, uh, there's a lot of uh, black and brown women that are working hard and not getting what they deserve. So it is time that we get this done. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to keep up to date with news from the caucus. For more information on what the senator is working on, you can follow them on social media using the links in the description below.